Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Coinsider live stream. Um, I was doing the Catalyst show for a while, but I want to go back to our roots and do this super free flowing Q and A format where we just analyze, where I just analyze every project that you asked me to um, live on stream. So this was super popular before, like we did it maybe a couple months ago, and um. The way it works is you share a project name and maybe share a quick sentence about like why it's interesting because otherwise there's going to be like hundreds of options and I can't get to all of them, but I will choose the ones that you hook me and get me excited about. So that's that. Also, super chats will take priority or if you share with me some interesting news event and you want to dig into it, get my thoughts on it, then I'll do that too. Um, and this is very important, so please listen up. This live stream format, there's only so deep of analysis that we can do, right? Because I'm looking into these from scratch. Many of them I have not heard of before. So if you're wanting our super deep, well-researched analysis, then you have to watch our regular like 10 minute long videos. But for this stream, I'm going to take a few minutes on each project. Many of them are going to be brand new to me, so we're going to research them together in the stream, and then we're going to decide which ones are promising to do further due diligence into. Okay, so that's going to be our approach today. Um, and if I miss some of your um, your picks that you want me to look into, then I apologize because there's too many flooding in. But don't spam them too much or else... Um, our moderator will delete them and may kick you out. So just keep it easy. Maybe remind me like five minutes or 10 minutes later. Okay. I'd appreciate that. And, um, and yeah, this stream is brought to you by our partner and sponsor Kraken bro Kraken pro more on them in a bit. All right, let's get started. And I will get to y'all's, let's see, we got a lot I want to cover. Let me look at the, the comments real quick. Um, Neon EVM, EWT, eGold, Cubic. I definitely want to touch on Cubic. That one I dislike, but I'm going to tell you why. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good ones here. I'm just, Metis, Caspa. Hello. Hi, Lohith. Um, Manta and Rander, yes, these are good ones, Abdul. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Give me Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi is very interesting. I want to look at that as well. A0. Anyways, give me a second. I will get into this, but first I want to start with um, Dimension because it's on the thumbnail that we did. So, oh wait, I want to share um, the entire window instead, right here. Okay, perfect. So, Dimension recently had a huge airdrop. Here, you probably can't see this, it's too small. Let me make this larger for you. Dimension had a huge airdrop, 300,000 wallets, and there, it's a modular blockchain built with the Cosmos SDK. So it's kind of in the Cosmos ecosystem. And it can deploy app chains. They call it a roll apps. This is their own name. And then there's a lot of stuff, blah, blah, blah. It's similar to a layer two project or a dApp, like a building its own app chain. And then they talk a lot about the features, but here's the site. Dimension is a layer one blockchain where you can deploy roll apps, which are like lightning fast app chains. So that's quite interesting, but check this out. Here is Dimension already launched um, and so far it's been doing quite well. Market cap already at a billion though, fully diluted at 7 billion, 14% circulating. So this is quite high. I mean, I could see this number getting to like, let's say peak bull market 10 billion or so, but that would put this fully diluted at 70 billion, which means when this circulating supply starts to get released or expand per se, that's going to be tough um, 
to maintain a 70 billion market cap, which is what right now? 70 billion is equivalent to um it's like almost double BNB or Solana, which is crazy. Right? So peak bull market maybe, but it's already I don't like I feel like all these recent airdrops opening at such high market caps just makes the opportunity not there. Like if you airdrop farmed and can take profit, rotate your capital, that's great. But buying them at these high prices, the risk and the risk to reward is is difficult to justify. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Thank you for the super chat, Neff G. What are your thoughts on Stronghold? That is a great question because I honestly haven't heard of it before. So let's take a closer look. Stronghold. So it is what I consider a, wow, only 5% circulating. I really don't like, you guys already know, I don't like projects with so low circulating supply because that means all the supply has to eventually get released and then that's going to eat into its fully diluted market cap, which is okay right now at 600 mil. The circulating market cap is quite small, but that's a little bit misleading, right? Let's see. Wow, it really rocketed since... When did it launch, though? Oh, wow. This was a prior bull market one. Launched in 2019 bear market, rocketed, and then here again. Let's see the market cap. See, market cap is already... This is what I'm talking about. Market cap is already at um, all-time highs because the supply has been hitting the the markets as this expands. Even though price is still not there, but market cap is already at all-time highs. Um, so, but let's take a look at what it is, though. That's important, too. Not just the charts. We're not only a charts channel. Most token store value, SHX creates it. Expanding payments ecosystem. Payments ecosystem. Stellar network, climate friendly. Yeah, I, I know that's something that they market themselves as, but that's kind of weird to be piggybacking off of that, in my opinion. Number one crypto Discord server? Come on, like this is already red flags, guys. This is red flags. And then, like, random stock people with exchange names. Bitrix isn't even around anymore. Didn't Bitrix go completely bankrupt? That's kind of... Um, yeah, already red flags, guys. I'm sorry. SHX. Hold it in these wallets. Ledger. Okay, Stellar Wallet. Currency of loyalty. Can earn SHX through Stronghold Rewards. See, the thing with this is I love loyalty rewards with like NFTs and stuff, but... It's not going to be easy to sign up real-world businesses to these programs. If there's too much friction, they have to go do business development. I'll, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it for this project and similar ones. Liquidity pool, merchant financing. Yeah, okay, this is not bad. Um, the, in terms of putting it on my list for further due diligence, I um, unfortunately won't be doing it with Stronghold SHX. But let me know if you guys disagree. Um, thank you for the super chat, Joe89K. Thoughts on RLC? Okay, let's take a look. This one was from iExec RLC. This one was from a while ago. Dang, y'all sharing with me old projects. 2017 project, right? This is the RLC you're talking about? Yeah, it must be. Um, let's see. Market cap, okay, okay. 160 mil. Almost all circulating. This is good. Tokenomics wise, this is okay. But let's take a look at the fundamentals of what they do. Web3 Marketplace. Build Web3 apps. Trade um, computing assets. Preserve privacy. Privacy enhancing marketing tools. 
See, now my question is this, is who's using this? I don't, this has been around for a while, but so they, they have time to, Ike's like Academy, are there for businesses? Dapp store, okay. Explore dapps built on iExec. Leverage the full power by enhancing privacy, retain ownership. See, I'd be willing to bet that barely anyone uses these dapps. I'd be surprised if more than like 10 people use them per day. Um, now, do I have data that proves that? No, but that's just my gut feeling based on experience looking at this. So this being an old project, and I'm not really a fan of trade computing assets by exchanging RLC. See, also some projects force a token. They don't. They can do this using USD or stable coins if they really want. Like, do they really have a strong reason for this? Was was it just to raise from an ICO token sale? This was a 2017 project. So yeah. Um, sorry, but not that big of a fan of RLC either. Not going to take further time. Hello, Cryptos Chain. Dimension to the moon. Okay. <laughs> Glad to see you here. Anyhow, back to the Super Chats. Um, Brendan O'Toole. Merchant Mo Mantles. Okay, let's see. Dang, y'all giving me ones I haven't. What's mantles? Let me see. Mantles? No. Must be Merchant Mo. Merchant Mo, right here. Okay, one mil only, 79 mil, 2% circulating. Is that accurate? They said CMC team has not verified. Um, oh, it's on mantle. Okay, okay, okay. It's on mantle. That's what you mean. Okay, what is this though? Merchant Mo. Essentially, oh, is this like Trader Joe Merchant Mo? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Okay. Um, Trader Joe is the Dex of Avalanche, and Merchant Mo, I guess, is the Dex of Mantle. DeFi a mental network, user-friendly decks, blah, blah, blah. Who's the team behind this? Is it anonymous? Or no? Um, tokenomics. Oh, right here. Let's take a look at the tokenomics. Liquidity mining, treasury, team 15%, linear investing, seed round, future funding. Wow, this is a lot of supply growth. Wow, wow, wow. Emission chart. February 2024, wow, yeah, percent emitted rises significantly. By May of 2025, it's 44%. Yeah, I'm worried about this supply emission, guys. I'm worried about it. Could it go up? Yes, because it's like the leading decks. Let's look, take a look at Trader Joe. The leading decks of um, Trader Joe. How come, what's the Trader Joe? Trader Joe, okay. Joe token, 100 mil market cap, 200 mil fully diluted. Yeah, see, this fully diluted is already close, and we have a lot um, going to hit the supply because of what we just saw. So, yeah, that makes me a little bit uneasy, guys. I would not put this on my short list. Lohith, thank you for the super chat. Arweave and Luxo. Okay, you gave me two. I guess I'll check them both out. Arweave, I... Have looked at before, 2021. Okay. This was a 2020 launch. In 2021, bear market did quite well. Now it's back down. Fully circulating, 500 mil. That's quite high already, but it's all circulating, so that's good. 
information storage. Permanent decentralized web instead of open ledger. Yeah, I mean, this is this is a good product. The issue is whether it's going to be a niche product or if it's going to be widely adopted, right? I mean, I think, honestly, it may be more niche than any of us would like to admit. But product-wise, I think it's quality. Could this do a few X um, in the bear bull market? Yes, I think it can. Can it go back up? What is this? 500 mil to, what is this? Three bill? Six X? Yeah. Yeah, but that's not like that much though, right? Six X gain. I could see it. Touch that. Luxo network. I have not heard of before. Luxo. Luxo is a recent one. Launched in 2023. Creative economies. Man, I hate the animated home pages because they just want I just want them to get to the point, you know? Creative economies offering creators. Okay, fidgetal. Physical slash digital combined. That's what fidget fidgetal is. Um about. Let's read this about. Next Frontier um, provides creators with future-proof tools, trace provenance, okay, manage smart IP rights, physical collectibles. Not bad, but how many people are using this? That's what ultimately matters. Like, do they actually have creators using this? I don't know anyone using it. Tools, standards contracts or is this like a platform for people to build apps on top in which case yeah networks in which case ecosystem partners yeah i mean i i don't know i don't know about this it let's let's take a look again at its tokenomics um 230 230 million circulating tokenomics are not bad could this get to two bill yeah i could see it but creator stuff is a lot more niche than like a generalized purpose platform anyhow um nothing i'm super excited about yet dr crypto crypto thanks for the super chat let's check this out oc swap dex on radix Okay, from now on the super chats, I'm only gonna cover one, the first one y'all put, just FYI. Let's see OC swap. It's on Radix. Radix is um, a, a blockchain tailor made for DeFi. So fully functioning decks on Radix. See the volume is small because Radix is really niche itself. So the decks, the top decks of Radix is gonna be niche too. 60,000 volume in 24 hours. Yeah, this is high risk at this point. Potentially high reward, but that also depends. OC swap will go where Radix goes. So if Radix doesn't rocket that much, then OC swap is not going to give you all that much either. Venkatesh, thanks for the super chat. You didn't write anything underneath though. So I, I'll be on the lookout if you write something in the future. Or um, moderator, if you can help me. If you see Venkatesh write anything in the chat as to what he wanted me to check out, then that'd be appreciated. S. Dow Tiago, thank you for that super chat. Um, S. Dow, let's check this out. Singularity Dow or just S. Dow? Let's see. What is this? Singularity DAO, artificial impact. Okay, or what's the other S DAO? I think I'll be able to tell if I just look at the other one. What is this S DAO? No, it can't be this one. No, it can't be this one. It must be the other one. Singularity DAO. Um, this is in the, okay, 30 mil. It is a low cap. 
This is almost all circulating. That's not bad. Artificially intelligence powered DeFi. Okay. Dynasets by Singularity Dow. Artificial intelligence, smart your portfolio, total value locked, AI launch pad, Dynaset does better. Hmm, so it reminds me of, yeah, okay. I, I forgot the name of the other project, but this one uses like AI algorithms to um, give you like, different trading strategies and stuff. Yield generating vaults on third-party DeFi protocols. Dynaset automatically rebalances based on rewards, liquidity, and counterparty risk. AI powered strategies. Choose a strategy, deposit, farm, and stakes. Sit back and relax. You see, I think this AI stuff is mostly just marketing. They may do a lot of like just data crunching in the back and just set up these strategies manually instead of having like some AI, um, like constantly evolving it and so forth. So, I mean, it's good marketing. I mean, it's, it's a strong narrative. You know, I think the AI crypto narrative is strong, but unfortunately I feel like this is just marketing. That being said, this is kind of a niche product. Um, it's not bad. It's at a low market cap. I, I think it's decent. It looks decent at the get go. We'll definitely need more research to see if this is worth it, but it looks all right. It looks better than some of the other ones I looked at recently. Okay. Numbers protocol. Thank you, Matit Yahoo. Numbers protocol. Let's check this out. I haven't heard of that one before. Numbers protocol. Wow. 2022 launch dropped all the way down. Supply has been coming released 57% release so far. That's why the market cap is higher, even though the price is still down. Let's take a look at numbers protocol. Giving you the full picture. Ensure providence for all types of creative works by humans and AI. Unlicensed images are stolen. No copyright, no trust, decentralized asset network. Yeah, I mean, this is the important problem, like with deep fakes or generative AI and people just copying everyone on social networks. This is a, a interesting problem to solve and content verification. Yeah, I think it's value proposition and it's solving an interesting question. The problem is NFT developer tools. Yeah, I mean, if they can get real usage, I actually like what they're doing. Numbers, but it's token price. Looks like it died recently. Um, let's get market cap. Market cap, 50 mil, 19 mil, 30 mil, fully diluted. Yeah. I could see this doing a, I could see this doing decently numbers per call. This is quite interesting. Thank, thank you, Method Yahoo. Um, one sec. Let me see if okay. Venkatesh, another one. Didn't he just do it above? Thank you so much, Venkatesh. If you have any projects you want me to check out, then please um, write them below. You don't have to do a new super chat. David Cardenas, thoughts on Barra Chain. I've heard of this a lot. I haven't had the time to look into it yet, though. So let's check this out. Barra Chain. Mainnet soon. Okay. Raise. What is Barra Chain? Up only. Wow. You have to, guys, you have to scroll upwards on their, on their website. You can't scroll down. You have to scroll up only. That's hilarious. 
modular EVM compatible layer one blockchain powered proof of liquidity network security by rewarding liquidity providers with non purchasable staking token. Okay. Stake centralization align. Ooh, this is interesting. The issue is, thank you for putting this on my radar, David. The issue is how high does it open? If it opens like dimension at over a billion, then where is the opportunity left is my question, right? Bex, BGT, Honey, the stable coin. Oh, they have a stable coin? Please don't tell me it's an algorithmic stable coin. Uh, I agree. Okay, are they gonna tell me anything about their stable coin? Um, yeah, it's probably somewhere. Bear chain docks, honey stable coin. Aims to a pro oh man, don't tell me this is another Luna UST. Where's the details about how the honey, um, like is this algorithmic? Okay. I I guess I'll take a closer look later. Let's keep looking. Polaris VM. EVM compatible. That's good. So MetaMask should work for it. Started off. Started as an NFT project for fun. Made the NFTs rebase and grew massive. Identified major gaps in protocol level alignment. Raised some VCs. Launched a chain. Oh, okay. Started as an NFT project. I don't know how I feel about that, but Bearchain Testnet is now live. Yeah, I I like it though. I like Bearchain. This one I'd take a closer look at. Nobody X Flare Networks. Flare F L R. F L R Flare twenty twenty three. Okay, so this is semi recent. Three billion, one billion, three billion. Already kind of long. Okay. Connect everything. Blockchain for data. Secure decentralized. Y'all, you'll see so many layer ones. It's crazy. It's so competitive. Yet another EVM based layer one, two native data acquisition protocols. Decentralized prices. I mean, can't Chainlink or Pith just do this? State connector. This is like bridges, right? You got wormhole or eigenlayer doing this. I mean, I think it's okay, but personally, I just think it's so saturated. Then again, I did say bear chain was interesting, but that's lower than this. This is a 1 billion bear chain. Actually, we don't know what bear chain is right now. So if it opens up at a similar amount, then I may also think it's not worth that much of um, an allocation per se. Okay, so um, I'll get to the rest of the Super Chats. But first, I want to share with you a quick note from our partners and sponsors, Kraken Pro. So let me just play that real quick. All right, guys, I want to share with you three reasons why you got to try out Kraken Pro today. Well, this is not one of my reasons, but I've personally been using Kraken for years now. So I swear by them as one of the best exchanges out there. But my first reason is that they give you one of the most customizable trading experiences in the entire crypto world. Now, I know you traders love to customize everything. Like you want your charts to look a certain way, you want your lines to be a certain color, etc. Well, that's why you're gonna love Kraken Pro because they have this custom layouts feature that lets you build your trading interface exactly how you like it. You can drag and drop, resize, move a bunch of widgets around, and you can add things like the order book, your overall portfolio view, favorite pairs, and more. Anyhow, my second reason to try them out is their awesome price alerts. 
Check this out. I can add price alerts for any coin just by clicking on their price chart. It's as easy as that. And then when it's set, I will get notifications on web and on my Kraken Pro mobile app. So yeah, that's so useful when I'm away from my computer and gotta jump back on to snipe a great entry. But then, don't sleep on my third reason to try Kraken Pro, which is their best-in-class liquidity. Check this out, this is data from The Block, showing slippage for some of the top exchanges out there. Guess which exchange is the purple line that's at the bottom most of the time? Well, that'd be Kraken, which is where Kraken Pro gets its liquidity from. And that means you'd receive more coins when buying with the same amount of money. Anyhow, you got custom layouts, you got price alerts, and you got super low slippage. What else could you ask for as a trader? Just go try them out using my link in the description. Oh, and this is not investment advice. Crypto trading involves risk of loss. All right, guys. Um, that was just a quick message from our partners and sponsors. So I hope you enjoyed that. And my link is below in the description. So you should go try out Kraken Pro. I use them personally. So I definitely, definitely deep down recommend them. Um, okay, back to the comments. Let's see poll token um janet yellen okay thank you janet yellen thank you for the super chat let me get back to that let me share my screen is poll polygon ecosystem token um it should be this it should be like you can swap it right okay let's see Poll token upgrade is now live on next generation token that powers. What does that mean when swap Matic for Poll? Okay. How to swap Matic to Poll? You can swap one-to-one -one migration contract. Yeah, so I would buy poll, Janet Yellen, because that's the future of the Polygon ecosystem. And I really like how they're going to um, use it within their ZK chains. Remember, Polygon has a bunch of different... Polygon.technology. Polygon has a lot of different chains, POS, ZK, EVM, Maiden, and more on the horizon, if I'm not mistaken. So all of them are going to use Pull is the idea, which is way better than Matic, which was just used in the POS, the oldest network. So to answer your question, it'd be Pull. Matic is old. Pull is the future. Pith Network, Matu Batu. Thank you for that. Super chat. Um, Pith is what they call the chain link of Solana. It's near all time highs, 700 mil, 5 bill. Okay, that's not that bad, I guess. It does price feeds and oracles. So it's a subset of what chain link does, but it does it really well. And it's dominating on Solana. So for those reasons, I like it a lot. Um, Pith, I like. It's kind of, and other people like too. That's why it's kind of pricey already. But, um, but yeah. Okay, thank you for Pith. I do like Pith though. Mehmet, thank you for the super chat. Let's check out Trias. Trias? Trias? New token? Okay. 130 mil. Okay. Um, trustworthy and reliable intelligent autonomous system. Yet another AI thing, right? And this looks kind of not as polished as the other ones, to be honest. Tries development. I'm sorry, but on first look, this is not something I would be excited about. Yeah, it's just like, it's just too amateur, you know? The look and feel. 
do they have the team anywhere about try it. brand narrative Kyoto University oh this is Japanese okay maybe it's not that bad maybe you can do decent but it just doesn't get me excited um, to be honest with you. Thank you for sharing that, though. There you go, Venkatesh. Okay, finally, you're, you didn't have to send another super chat, but I appreciate that. Sight to chain. Sight to reality. Let's look at sight to chain. 47 mil. Okay. Um, oh, this is from... This is the meme coin ecosystem, right? If I'm not mistaken. Utility coin, side of chain coin. Is this from Okay, is this from Saitama? Yeah. Web3 company. It's like a meme coin building ecosystem. Kind of like Floki did. Floki did it well and now everyone is copying that. Let's see Saita Reality. Property investments. Okay. Interesting. Property real estate experts. Property. Let's see which properties they have. Dubai, Dubai, Dubai. Uh. Side of chain coin. I mean, I guess. I guess I'm not really a fan of meme coins trying to expand too much into utility. Most of them are subpar in my opinion. Floki did it well, but even then there's still a meme coin first and foremost. Andrew Julio. Thank you for the super chat. Prisma Finance, Prisma Protocol. Let's check that out. And um, drop to 270 mil, market cap of 15 mil Prisma. Wow. I hate when this data isn't working. Liquid staking tokens, LST backed stablecoin. <coughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. This is worthy of a further look, but it's price data in here. It's kind of janky. 270 mil market cap of 15 mil. I don't know about how much upside, but Curve, you can get on Curve, Uniswap, V2, and V3. Volume is small, 25 million on that. I guess you can get it on Curve, Prisma. Thank you, um, Andrew. This is interesting. Luis Mendoza, Mint Layer. Okay. Let's check out Mint Layer. I have not heard of that one either. Um, mint layer. Okay. It started in 2023. So it's near all time highs. Um, 16% circulating 260 mil mint layer. Okay. What is it? Bitcoin with a side chain. Okay. Future proof blockchain. DeFi tokenization. Yeah. More than just a Bitcoin wallet. Ethereum flaws enhance its features on Bitcoin. So similar to Stacks, I guess. ML token, staking, community engagement, ecosystem tools, token and network fees, protocol development, strategic sale, seed sale, marketing and listing. Wow, a lot of it goes to the team though. Yeah, that's that's a red flag. A lot of it goes to the team. A lot is going to become unlocked too. So while I think this is semi-interesting, I'd be cautious about that. Let me write this down though for a further look later. doesn't mean I'm going to buy them, but just for a further look. So thank you, Luis. Um, wait, I missed some. D5 
DeFi Llama has some more info on Prisma. DeFi Llama Prisma. Prisma Finance, DeFi Llama. Total value locked is pretty good. End game for liquid staking tokens. Non-custodial decentralized Ethereum LST backed stablecoin. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think Prisma is interesting, but let's see. Um, I think I missed some. Janet Yellen said, Poll tokenomics are terrible right now, though. Well, that's good. That's good to hear. Um, or, I mean, it's bad to hear, but thank you for bringing that to our attention. I definitely have to take a closer look at how they designed the tokenomics of Poll before that. But it is the future of the Matic Polygon ecosystem. So I prefer that over Matic because they're going to migrate it, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Okay, let's take a look at some other ones. Caspa. I know a lot of you have been asking about Caspa, so let's take a look at Caspa. Caspa is proof of work. So it's in that niche. And it's block DAG, which I'm not a fan of because of all the DAG projects like IOTA, Nano, etc. Nano was DAG, right? If I'm not mistaken, those just didn't make sense. DAGs just don't make sense, in my opinion. Not like technically don't make sense, but as like blockchain design in general. Um, but people like to mine it. Is it even still accessible mining wise? I'm not sure. I've never been that excited about Caspa. Yes, I did miss out on its absolute rocket ship. Um, but Caspa, but let's take a look. Caspa, wow, it's rocketing again near all time highs. Yeah, it could go further. It could, I, I was wrong about Caspa. I was quote unquote hating on it before, but I think it's, it's all right. It could show us a blueprint for what some other smaller L1s are able to do, even though the, the people like Caspa. Blazing speeds, unique security, the future. See, the people like Caspa, even though I hated on it before. Um, let's see, what else? What else? Ben Gallardo. JTO, that's Gito, isn't it? Gito is Lana Ecosystem. Our Solana ecosystem piece is coming out soon, and Gito is going to be part of it. I like Gito. It's liquid staking. It's the Lido Finance or Lido Finance, however you want to call it, of Solana land. And they give you MEV rewards and staking rewards. So big fan of Gito. It had a big airdrop. Has a lot of TVL. Um, yeah, fan of Gito. Thanks for asking. Let's see what else. Bro, thank you for the super chat, but like, come on. <laughs> MAGA meme coin, there's only so much you need to know just by looking at the name. Luis Mendoza, Shido aims to be similar to Injective. Um, Shido, new and alt, okay. Okay, 66 mil, 100 mil, Injective, build on Shido. Y'all see, there's so many blockchains. It's effing crazy. It's so saturated. I mean, they may rock it a lot, but they're never going to succeed for the long haul. Shido, Shido, however you want to call it. Shido app, DeFi card, trade on Shido Dex. Could this be the next injective? Maybe. Maybe. Team. Okay, let's see. 
the core team at about Bjorn Einar Vessel at development business manager. Okay, let's see his LinkedIn. Sweden. I guess. And who who invested in them? Blue Note Capital. I haven't heard of a lot. I think they could do okay, but they're not going to be one of the biggest. They're, I don't think they're going to win like Injective, in my honest opinion. Um, Kizuna Meme Coin. Let's see. Okay, okay, Ganesh. I'll I'll just let you check it out. Okay, I'll I'll do it for you because you said you did give a super chat. Even though in the future, I really don't want to analyze that many um, meme coins. You know I'm not a fan of meme coins. 100 mil, wow, how's that 100 mil? That's a lot. Wasn't there another weekly spaces? Wasn't there another one like three years ago that was like Trump coin or something? Yeah, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, did that die off? I'm, I'd am i be willing to bet it died off. Was this one from a long time ago? No. What was the one that it was like 2020, if I'm not mistaken? 2020. No, it's like 2020. Does anyone know in this in the chat? There was like a not not his NFT. I'm talking about a coin in like 2020. Um Shido, Shido, however you want. It's going to do a Caspa. Really? Really? Three bill? 50x? You sure about that, A Dog? How much would you bet? Put Go all in if you really believe that. Polytrade. Raj, BN. Let's check it. Let's check it out. Close these real quick. Poly trade. How old is this? 2021. So it's kind of old. Wow. Market caps at all time highs because of the circulating supply. You see why tokenomics are so important, folks? That's why it matters. Poly trade. Real world assets. Okay. I like the, the sector. Diversify across assets, marketplace offerings. I mean, this sector has, oh, they got testimonials from Polygon and Clearpool. Backed by investors, Polygon's team. These aren't the biggest investors, but real world assets on chain. Let's take a look at the marketplace. Let's actually dig in a step deeper. Okay, beta market. Oh, I have to sign up to look at it. Come on. Asset originators, asset buyers. Yeah, I mean, if they can get legit MasterCard Star Path program. Okay, that's kind of impressive. MasterCard Star Path bot blockchain. Okay, that's kind of impressive. Polytrade 28 mil, 90 mil. But see, this has a lot more supply to expand. So that's unsure about that. Um. That being said, it's not bad. It's semi-promising in my opinion. Okay, let's see. RWA, Nexera. Alliance block Nexera. 
How recent is this? 2023, it's semi-recent. I like the more recent ones. Infrastructure for decentralized tokenized markets. Okay, okay. Okay. Ecosystem partners, Peak, Chainlink. Are they, who's using it though? Tokenization, are there big companies? Crypto service, Fluce. Art banks. I mean, if they get a lot of usage, then sure. Let's see. Alliance blocks, Nexera. Okay, this is decently promising. Thank you, A Dog. Dimension. It's open quite high, Derry. Um, other than that, I think it's semi promising. More than a lot of these other L1s that we saw today. Lohith UOS. That's a gaming one, isn't it? Ultra? Or UOS Network? No. It's probably Ultra, right? That's the gaming one. Future of Gaming. Apps. Ultra Games. Okay, let's see. Gaming dis so this is like a Web3 Steam, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, ultimately, when it comes to crypto gaming, you just got to have fun games. Download their client. Has anyone tried this out? Is Are these games fun, Lohith? Let us know if these games are fun, if you actually play it. Be honest. If you don't actually play it, I'm bearish on it. Block V. Oh, I wanted to get to Cubic too. I forgot about that. I wanted to hate on Cubic event a little. But block V, tether, and have to use the V token. Block V. Wow, look at this death since 2018. Meanwhile, market cap is also low. Okay. But what is this? What is block V? Smart NFT protocol. V token. Eh. Used worldwide? Are they really? Somehow I doubt this. Somehow I doubt this about. Reef Collins. I guess. I'm not really that excited about this. You see, Lohith, and this is the problem with gaming protocols. No one plays the games. The games aren't fun. They need to be fun or else it's ultimately going to die like Axie Infinity. Um, Queen Network. Okay. Cubic. Someone said it at the beginning. I am not touching this with a 10 foot pole. I don't care how high it goes. First of all, first of all, the markets are trade ogre, safe trade. If you use these, you're going to lose your funds, guys. And don't say I didn't tell you so. Trade ogre. And that's the only places available. Also, this is like from the IOTA uh, come from beyond. This is the IOTA guy, one of the IOTA founders. IOTA was a huge grift, still is, don't like any of them, will never touch one of their future projects after what happened with IOTA. So I say nay, nay hard to Cubic. It's an affinity grift in my opinion. Let's check out Quay, Quay Network, K Network. No token listed yet, but okay. It has a lot of animation. Wow, is it really gonna make me load all this? Wow, someone said Alliance Block got hacked? Um. Wow, that is something worth rebuilding currency. Is this necessary? I already don't look. It looks cool, but why are they making me do this? Yeah, I'm not going to do that anymore. Alliance block hacked. Let's see. Oh, dang. Bonk Dow. Alliance block token plunges.
Interesting. Okay, well, hopefully it doesn't happen in the future. Okay, however, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, let me know in the chat if you prefer this type of stream or the Catalyst show. Okay, remember the Catalyst show? If you were here on my last stream, we looked at Catalyst for some of the hottest projects and analyzed the why. Like, why did the project move so much in the recent week? And we looked at the Catalyst to see if it's a strong long-term Catalyst or a short-term iffy one, you know? Or do you like this one where we analyze projects live? Let me know what y'all prefer. Um, leave a comment or drop it in the super chat and I'll definitely listen to it. But in the meantime, please don't forget to check out Kraken Pro. I gave you that um, quick demo in the middle. It's a great platform for all types of traders and investors. Just use my link below in the description. You like this more. Okay. This one. All right. I'll be sure to do it more. I'll see you all next time. Be sure to like this video and subscribe.